Hello everyone. Welcome to another lesson. Today we will be looking at Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. Please enjoy our presentation. Welcome to this video on Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. In this video, we'll be discussing the evolution of the internet and the key differences between these two concepts. Part 1 WEB 2.0. Let's start with Web 2.0. Web 2.0 is a term coined in the early 2000s to describe the shift from static web pages to interactive and collaborative web platforms. Before Web 2.0, most websites were static and didn't allow for user-generated content or real-time interactions. Web 2.0 changed that by introducing social media, blogging, and other web applications that allowed for user-generated content, collaboration, and sharing. One of the most significant developments of Web 2.0 was the rise of social media. Social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram changed the way people connect, communicate, and share information. These platforms allow people to create and share content in real time, comment on each other's posts, and interact with each other in new and exciting ways. This led to a massive explosion of user-generated content, which has transformed the way we consume information and engage with others online. Another important aspect of Web 2.0 was the rise of cloud computing. Cloud computing allowed companies to store data and applications on remote servers, which made it easier to collaborate and work together in real time. This led to the creation of web-based productivity tools like Google Docs, which allow people to collaborate on documents, spreadsheets, and presentations in real time from anywhere in the world. Part 2, WEB 3.0. Now, let's move on to Web 3.0. Web 3.0 is the next evolution of the Internet, and it's still a relatively new concept. Web 3.0 is often referred to as the semantic web, and it's all about creating a more intelligent and interconnected web. The goal of Web 3.0 is to create a more open, decentralized, and user-controlled web, where data is owned and controlled by individuals rather than large corporations. One of the key technologies that's driving Web 3.0 is blockchain. Blockchain is a distributed ledger technology that allows for secure, transparent, and decentralized transactions. It's the technology that underpins cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, but it has many other use cases beyond that. Blockchain technology can be used to create decentralized social networks, marketplaces, and other web applications that are controlled by the users rather than a central authority. Another technology that's driving Web 3.0 is artificial intelligence AI. AI has the potential to transform the way we interact with the web by making it more intelligent and personalized. With AI, web applications can analyze vast amounts of data to provide more personalized recommendations and insights. This could lead to a more intuitive and seamless web experience that's tailored to the individual user. Part 3, Key Differences So, what are the key differences between Web 2.0 and Web 3.0? Well, Web 2.0 was all about social media, user-generated content, and cloud computing. It was about creating a more interactive and collaborative web that allowed for real-time interactions and collaboration. Web 3.0, on the other hand, is all about decentralization, blockchain, and AI. It's about creating a more intelligent and interconnected web that's controlled by the users rather than large corporations. Conclusion In conclusion, we discussed the evolution of the Internet from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. While Web 2.0 was all about social media, user-generated content, and cloud computing, Web 3.0 is all about decentralization, blockchain, and AI. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Please comment on topics who would wish for me to do. Have a wonderful